It's 1 p.m. Just got back from, well, directly back from the shop, but also back from the hospital for my one and a half weeks, one and a, one and a half weeks update on the broken elbow saga. Sat with the doctor, um, sat with, no, had, an, had a second x-ray and sat with a doctor and had a chat about progress and how it's all happening. Good to report that the arm is healing up pretty much on track. Still that little squiggly line which resembled a break, apparently. I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but from what I could see on that first x-ray, that little squiggly line didn't look like anything, but it did cause, you know, the break and the radial. The head of the radial was broken, and then there's still a little squiggly line on the x-ray today, but the doctor has said that that's normal, and it looks like everything's healing up nicely. I just gotta put this away in the fridge. Just got some things. Got some soap. That's not going in the fridge, but this should go straight in the fridge. Get off there. Um, so, pretty stoked. Just gotta put that away. And this can go in here. Cool. So, I'm pretty soaked. Pretty happy on the, still can't do things two-handed though. You know what, the doctor said, he gave me a fresh new sling, I got this beautiful blue thing. He said, this one's more comfortable, you'd probably be better off with this. Which made me believe, if this one's more comfortable, why'd you give me that crappy one at the start? That's when I needed the most comfort. The second that I did the, the accident is when I needed to feel comfortable. Now I'm a week and a half in, I don't really need all this comfort. Got a little thumb ring there, but he gave it to me and he also said try to take the sling off as much as possible when you're at home which is where I am now so I'll take it off and he said you need to start doing stretches like get this get this arm going out like that as far as you can I mean I don't want muscle I don't want it to lock the muscle together but that's probably as far as I can go at the moment by the way, that bruising will go down pretty soon, he said. The yellow stuff on the bruise tells you that it's uh, healing up. Uh, well, the yellow part tells you that it's working. So, should be sort of fixing that. Looks disgusting, but it's a good sign. Now, also, just a quick re... Not a reminder, just a quick addition to yesterday. I was talking about how... Um, my, mama, my mother asked me what she can do to help my YouTube channel and I said the best thing you can do is to watch my ads run all the way through. Didn't get, to tell, didn't get the time to tell you exactly what I, um, what I meant by that, but what I do with anyone's YouTube channel that I actually subscribe to and that I've, I value and I, and I believe in, sounds a bit wanky, I watch their ads all the way through. I hit play and, okay, look, when I say I watch, I should say I let the ad run through. What I'll do is I'll probably come set the laptop up to, to watch some YouTube, go to the video, press play, then go into the kitchen, get a coffee, get a tea, get some water, get something, and come back. Oh, yeah, the ad's still got 20 more seconds. I'll let it run. I'm not sitting in front of it watching, but I am letting it run all the way through. It's a little thing that I do just to help out. I mean, subscribe and view counts are certainly important but i also think that if you cannot skip an ad for a fellow creator great i'm not suggesting you have to do that on my channel all i'm saying is that's what i do on the channels that i value and that's how my mum i think she's doing it that way now too for my channel so that's 